Hi, this is Ben Sykes. I'm a developer at IndieSoft, and this video is to describe if you're upgrading ver to version 11 from a past version like 9 or 10, uh, then this will demonstrate some of the new docking panel functionality we have on the main screen and how to update maybe your layouts uh, to have the latest look and feel. So when you first log in, you'll notice uh, the header's a little bit new. Uh, like the detail sections for the equipment view uh, look a little bit different in the way you launch into the different events, searches, and add edits. But the actual layout that you have for equipment, equipment layouts and home layouts, those have been retained from your past version because we want to respect any modifications you might have made to those layouts in the past. But when you upgraded the database, uh, we automatically add in uh, these three multi-panel layouts for home and also for equipment layouts just as illustrations of what you can do uh, but we do not set a visibility rule on these uh, we don't want to risk making something visible uh, that should not be to some of your end users but if you want to play around with how these work the quickest way is go to this new multi-panel layout that was imported for you and go to the one that uh, is described main and then add a visibility rule for that let's call this home layout multi-panel so let me make these visible and then show you how they work. Go to the equipment layout that is multi-panel main, add a visibility rule for that. For now I'm just going to make it system-wide. Um, so now if I close out of the system and come back in, Then here's my older layouts, but if I right mouse click, now I can see uh, some of the new look and feel. I could do the same thing for equipment view. Now see this new multi-panel look and feel. So as an illustration, this multi-panel, uh, what we mean by that is there's a main panel that is scrollable like you've been used to in past versions, but it, in the example of this particular equipment layout, we have a a smaller header layout that is docked on the top so you can see it, it does not scroll and then this particular example has a side layout that's mapped into this options docking panel uh, so it just enables you to kind of move some of your options into places that are a little more convenient same for this new home view you can see this section on the top and bottom stays docked and it's just this middle section uh, that becomes scrollable as opposed to the older view where everything uh, was all in one layout. So back on this multi-panel, uh, if you're a system admin then you can quickly modify the header or the footer layouts from these right mouse click options uh, but you don't have to have a header and a footer like in this equipment layout only a header is being used. So within the main layout this is where you make a reference uh, to the name of the header or footer layout or the the side layout that you might want to use here you can see this is the name of the header layout that we want to use and its height this is the side layout side layout is what's shown here on this this options docking panel um, and that's how it's done from the equipment layout and then back in layout builder you could do the same for the home layout. If we modify that main section you can see this one is referencing a header layout, a side layout, and a footer. And you can specify the different sizes. So you can see like in this example if we edit just the header layout that it, it's very small. It's just this uh, one inch that's going to be at the top of, of each home layout. You can also specify background colors and custom margins in version 11. If you ever want to change uh, the position of some of these docking panels or maybe make them uh, permanently visible then right mouse click in the header and turn on edit docking panels and then just use this pin cushion uh, either to permanently hide it or to permanently show it. And when you're in this edit docking panels mode you can even move these around to entirely different locations. Like say if you wanted this flowchart uh, to instead appear maybe docked on this lower right of the uh, the equipment detail sections, you could do that. So maybe not a great choice here. We don't have a lot of 
room, but you could change maybe the zoom percentage and make that work. So once you are done, turn off the edit docking panels, and then you could save that change either for just the current user or across all users, uh, very much like that you have done in the past with changing grid settings. So one other note, keep in mind even once you have uh, this new multi-panel, it's still pointing towards your standard flowchart that you might have modified in the past, but if you want to have a quick view uh, of some of the newer look and feel that we have for flowcharts, like for new databases, then from within Layout Builder, just keep in mind you could always add in something new and load from file and then in your installation directory there are zip files that contain all of the stock uh, flowcharts uh, and layouts and even reports from across all the different types of default databases so I could bring in the default uh, commercial lab flowchart right here you can see what that looks like if I like it I could uh, import that in over my existing standard and it would just start working. If I if I confirmed it used the same event types and I, I wanted to use that and that would be a good choice. So then if I could refresh my settings you can see now the updated flowchart is being used. And I think that's about it. So let us know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.